I'm back at Knott's Berry Farm finally on a regular schedule. So how about you and I dive in and check out the park this week? Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another theme park obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. If you're new here and you love theme park content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay up to date on every time I post new videos. Before we head in the park, I just wanted to point out that Build-A-Bear is new here at the Knott's Marketplace. So if you're craving on building a bear, you can do it here at Knott's Berry Farm. And because it's at Knott's Berry Farm, they do have some specialty outfits for all of the plush. As far as like marketplace construction, there's really not much going on besides uh, the fountain out here next to the Starbucks. Looks like parts of the concrete have just gotten old and started chipping away. I'm so excited I got my Knott's Platinum Pass. I've never had a Platinum Pass before, but it was such a really good deal. I mean, free parking and I could access every single Cedar Fair Park in the country. So it's only 200 bucks, which is not bad at all. I can see that Silver Bullet has some empty seats on it, which means that I might have to ride a lot of these rides a couple times. It's not too busy at all in the park today. It's awesome. And it's a beautiful day today. Alrighty, I'm making my way over towards hang time because I haven't been on it in quite some time and I figure why not go on it a few times today since it's not that busy and I can already see empty seats on this particular train that's going through right now. Should be running two train ops today, which is awesome. For my coaster fans out there, where else can you find this particular model of wild mouse coasters? Go ahead and comment down below if you know. Alrighty, let's do it. Wow, look at this. This is a complete station wait. That's awesome. What a great day to be here. It's another great ride on hang time. A couple of rattle moments, but I mean, it's typical for that particular model of coaster. But other than that, it was a lot of fun today. Over here next to Johnny Rockets, there's been construction walls added around the voyage of the Iron Reef attraction, which is going to be converted into the Berry Tales attraction. Berry Tales was an attraction a long time ago here at the park, but they're bringing it back in a new way, new digital form, so that'd be kind of fun. Really interested to see how this is all gonna play out. I'm super excited. Wasn't the biggest fan of Voyage to the Iron Reef, so I'm glad that they're changing it up to something more classic for uh, Knott's 100th anniversary. Here's just one particular piece of concept art. This is what one of the games is gonna look like when you approach it. Very similar to like a Toy Story Mania, you know, esque attraction. It's pretty much gonna be the same sort of thing as Voyage to the Iron Reef, but again, just have the classic spin on it. And I'm curious to see how much of this they're gonna change. You know, if they're gonna change this particular awning right here, I for sure know it's gonna get a paint job. I don't know if they're gonna keep the same brown tones unless they keep those and add some purple in it. But other than that, it's gonna be fun to watch over the next few weeks because the ride will open sometime this year. Hey, yeah, coming this summer, it says. And then I wouldn't doubt that the gift shop receives a little upgrade as well. I do really love how they spruced this attraction up. They added all these little bits of theming here and there because Bigfoot Rapids prior to Calico River Rapids was in definite need of a refurbishment. So I'm glad that they spent the money and brought in some new animatronics and some thematic elements throughout the attractions. Great. I do really love the area right next to Calico River Rapids entrance. This giant koi pond, the big old waterfall to the left over here. Knott's Berry Farm has a lot of little sections of the park that are just gorgeous. And there they are right there. Hello little, little fishies. Those are actually not little fishies. Those things are huge. Mystery Lodge is still closed, but I've, I've been hearing some rumblings that they're gonna bring this show back. Would be really cool to see it come back in a new way with some newer technology, because it is a really cool show. Let's do some more exploring over here behind the, the Ghost Town Street. There's like a little graveyard back here. And not too many people come back here. Yep, here it is, Boot Hill Cemetery. Oh, look, there goes the train too. What's going on in here in the barrel house? Fought against the stinging blast. He got a rope from a broken spar and bound her to the mast. Oh, Father, I hear the church bells ring. Oh, say, what may it be? This is like one of the many reasons why I really like this park. I mean, Knott's Berry Farm is not the biggest park in the world. It's a little bit bigger than Universal Studios and obviously a little bit smaller than Disneyland, but there's so many little nooks and crannies and things to look at. And there's like theming throughout the whole park especially here in Ghost Town. Alrighty, I think it's time for some Silver Bullet. Oh, 
was a pretty solid ride on Silver Bullet. I sat in the back on that particular train. It's running pretty smooth today. Didn't really have too much of a rattle or anything. Very nice. Look at this shot. How many roller coasters can you count in this single shot? There's just so much happening. Before we head over to our next ride, how about a Knott's montage? I think so. What's cool is over here in Calico Square, if you're wondering what uh, food offerings Knott's has for the peanut celebration, they do have a little sign here that tells you all the different offerings and where they're located. So that's pretty convenient. All right, I think I'm gonna end my day with one of the greatest wooden roller coasters here in California. I absolutely love Ghost Rider. It's honestly, I would say this is in my top five. It's such a great coaster. And for those of you that haven't been on it since the renovation, it's not as rough as it used to be. It used to be like really crazy jerky but they've gone in and smoothed it out quite a bit. So it's actually really nice. And man, does this thing haul butt. Already the best seat in the house is the back car. It's my favorite spot on Ghost Rider. The airtime back here is amazing. I just got off Ghost Rider and wow, I just love this coaster. It's so good, especially in the second half. The second half of the ride is just nuts. It just doesn't let up. It keeps going. The airtime in the back is amazing. Solid coaster for sure. Look at these old posters. Does everyone remember the sky jump? I remember going on that a long time ago. Those are awesome. Here's an old school map of the park too. The sky cabling, this was before Supreme Scream and Accelerator. Look at the soapbox racers right there. Ooh, corkscrew, wow. Look at that poster right there. Wacky Soapbox Racer. That's when the boardwalk used to be called the Roaring Twenties. How cool. Well, you know, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you love theme park content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so it'll stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I also have an Instagram page at Theme Park Obsession, so be sure to follow that as well because I post content there that I don't normally post here on the channel. Also, thank you so much for 45,000 subscribers. I just owe it to you all. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and loving the content that I have every single week. It really does mean so much to me. But other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.